Hello everybody! Welcome back to the SB Game Fun channel. We're playing games, having fun. Sherlock Holmes. The Devil's Daughter on Black Friday. Happy Thanksgiving everybody. Hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving. And uh, and hopefully you're not bearing uh, the wave of people at Black Friday shopping. But if you are, good luck. Alright, we got our next puzzle. So let's figure this out here. And let's see where this takes us. Hopefully I, I can do this in half an hour. <laughs> oh my God. Holy cow, there's a lot of monkeys here. There's a lot of noisy monkeys. Oh, I can actually skip this. Uh-oh. This is a puzzle. Can I fall off? No, nope, it won't let me fall. So there's creatures down there, monkeys or whatever. Okay, so I guess I guess that's where I need to go because there's I need to get to those things there. It looks like. And what are these? Okay, these are. Okay, I don't know what they are actually. Okay. Let's activate this. What does this do? Whoa. Alright, so... <laughs> so this whole platform turned with that lever or that dial and that literally put us on the path where I think we're supposed to go and no it is not so I guess we need to go to those dials and this turned literally 180 degrees this is where I came from yep this is the door Okay, so that's 180 degrees right. So I assume, not assume because we don't assume, because if we assume, we'll make out an ass out of you and me. So let's not do that. Um, let's, this one here should actually turn me left all the way back. Um, so I'm going to assume, okay, assume I'm going to make a conjecture that this would turn me left one quarter. So maybe it will go to that one and this will take me to that one maybe, that, that, that lever right there. Let's do this one. Let's, let's see, let's see here. Yes. All right. So we know that this is sort of like a quarter turn. Oh no. Whatever that is, kind of turn. The smallest turn. This is the quarter turn, and this is the full uh, 180 turn. So let's try to keep it in mind because if I don't, I'll get disoriented. So we activate this. Let's activate it. Yes. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. <laughs> Got excited there. Okay, so... Um, so the door is partially ajar. Okay. Okay, let's keep turning a quarter turn. Maybe that'll get us to the next one. Oh, come on, man. All right. Let's, uh, let's turn it back to, no? Can we turn it back half? No, that won't put us out. Let's turn it back fully two times. And 
one more time. Okay, so we are back at the main where we were before. So let's try this one quarter. Let's see what it gives us. Yes. That was what I was hoping for. Let's turn it. Awesome. Okay, so we need to turn it one more time to that one. Right? Yes, because they, these are all dark now. This is the only one that's still lit. Okay. Okay, now hold on. Looking straight forward, looking straight back. Straight forward, straight back. Okay, now I'm going to do a full turn. This is a left turn, right? So maybe now I can turn it back this way. Turn it right. Nope. So let's turn it back. Oh. Yeah, let's turn it back one. Maybe half? I don't think so. Let's do half. I mean a quarter, sorry. Quarter. Quarter turn. Okay, then maybe a quarter back. I'll get it. Yes. So we got the last door. The puzzle has been solved. Now, there it is. I said this in the last episode when we entered this thing, this temple. This temple is a model. So what Sherlock is imagining is in his head. This puzzle is in his head. It's not really a puzzle. It's a puzzle for us, but because Sherlock made it a challenge for himself. <laughs> so we're in his brain trying to solve this puzzle. Okay. And he just made it difficult. Okay, we need to turn right. We need to turn right a quarter or a, a smidge. I call it this. I keep. Let's turn it. And then we can do a 180 back. Hopefully it will get us what we need. No, it did not. We're, we're so screwed. Where's the door? Okay, the door, nope. Okay, that's a lever. That's the door. So we need to turn right. Oh, let's go right one of these. I think it's this. No, it's this side. No. <laughs> now I'm, I've lost. I'm disoriented. I'm lost which side is turns left, which side turns right. Oh, I'm still off. So let's go. Let's keep going right one more time on this smidgy thing. And then we'll come back a quarter. Alright, 
back a quarter here. Does this work? My foolproof plan? Nope. So let's try going back a quarter. I think this is wrong, but I'll try. Yep, I cleared past it. So let's do one more small one, right. And then maybe a quarter turn back. I'll eventually get there. I will eventually get there. Let's try this one. There we go. So now we just do a full 180 to the, get to the door. go all right where does this lead it took us 10 minutes to solve that hopefully it's not another puzzle oh no well at least we don't have to go back there <laughs> oh my God. I couldn't fall off so I couldn't die okay so I got two paths both one going forward and one going back. Let's take a look this way. Okay. This is a dead end. Okay, so that doesn't go nowhere. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Just in case. Yep, nothing there. Climbing rocks. All right, let's climb. Let's climb all the way up, Sherlock. And I don't like the sound. It's eerie. I hear noises, but it's all in his head. So this is a this is a head game for for Sherlock. The challenge is in his mind. This has nothing to do with reality. It's in his mind. All right, what is this? Wow, it almost looks like telephone numbers. <laughs> it's like telephone numbers. All nines. Okay, so what's out here? Uh-oh. Oh no, oh my gosh, Indiana Jones. Run, 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 Sherlock. Can we hide? Oh yes. Okay. Can we leave cover? Oh, 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 I can hear it. Okay, it's rolling forward and backwards, so I gotta, I gotta find a hiding space, a hidey hole quickly. Find a hidey hole. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, run, 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 Sherlock, run. Find a hidey hole. Yes, thank you. Oh no, run, run, run back, run back. Oh! <laughs> uh, don't die, Sherlock, don't die. Hide, hide, hide. Race. Run, run. Follow it, follow it. Okay. 
they hide. Better come by. Run, Sherlock, run. Run, can you run? Can we get to the end? Can we get to the end? Yes. Oh, gosh. All right. My nerves are shot. Okay, so let's keep moving forward. <laughs> let's keep moving forward. Okay. Okay, we can't. I, okay, let me go back to first person. I don't like that third person. It's a little janky. Okay, I can't fall over here. I can't jump or anything like that either, so it's this way. So let's take a look, see here. Oh, there's a ladder right there. I think, yep. So let's go this way and see if there's anything else here we can explore. Wow, this is like Indiana, every Indiana Jones Temple of Doom, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Hollywood trope. All right, so let's head up. We don't run into another one. Hopefully, if we do run into something, we can solve it quickly. All right, so let's come up here. Oh, no. Big room. Oh, man. Okay. Can I go? Can I go here? Can I go here? Okay, that's no good. Oh no! No! No, that's not right! That's not right! Man, that's wrong! Oh <laughs> jeez, we're screwed! We're screwed! Run, run, run! <laughs> oh, this is rinse and repeat. This is what it is. This is a rinse and repeat game. Okay, rinse and repeat. Come forward. Here. 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 No, it's not there. Here. Okay, I've been this way. I made the mistake the last time. No way! Wait a minute. Okay. Okay, forward. Okay, maybe it's this way. I turned left that way. Okay. I'm trying to follow the bricks. I can see the bricks underneath me. Hopefully this is the right way. I'm not... I'm... Okay, good. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Alright, come on, come on, come on. Tell me. Okay. Yes. Oh. Screw you. Spiked wall, screw you! Ah, jeez, man. Indiana Jones, King Solomon's Mines. Ugh. All the, all the hidden Mayan temple dangers are here. Now I'm, I'm. I'm I'm expecting spikes coming out of the walls. I'm expecting to find Belloc here somewhere. Bugs. Baloche or Belloc. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Gotta do more climbing? I guess, more climbing. Keep climbing. Now 
man. I don't think this is over. I think there's another. I think we still have more to come, man. Has to be. Let's keep going. I got I got about ten minutes worth. Oh no. Oh gosh, I should have expected that. Okay. Which way am I going here? is dead <laughs> okay I got hit by something so, okay I got hit by gas there too so that's the thing that gave me hit me gas okay that looks like okay I see some Okay, I see. Look at that. Look at that fat face right there on the far end. That's a that's a mad face, and these are happy faces. I think that's what I'm dealing with. I gotta avoid the the, the mad faces. Mad face, mad face, angry face. Happy faces. Go that way. Is it? Oh no, that's a, that's a mad face. Happy face. Alright, I have to run because I was walking. I thought that was fast enough, so I'm gonna have to run. I kinda have. Kinda. I think. Okay. Oh no. Okay, no. I lost. I lost direction. So I gotta run. Right here. Right here, maybe? Yes, this is the route I took before. Run down this way. Mad face, happy face, happy face. Happy face, mad face. Yes. Oh. Get that door behind me. Oh. Gosh, my. my. My fingers are all sore. <laughs> Stiff. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. All right. See that? Every Indiana Jones, every Laura Croft, every King Solomon's Mine, every, oh, uh, gosh, it's everything you could think of. They threw it all at us. Okay. Is there any more? I'm pretty sure there might be one or two more coming up here. Yep, it looks like it may is rinse and repeat. Let's keep going here. Sherlock the 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 mental guy. He's mental. Sherlock has always fought issues and has always been in his mind. Okay, there's there's a path here to the left. Oh nope, there is not. So it's empty. It's got all these uh, Mayan, Peruvian, Guatemalan painting jobs. Uh oh. Poisonous water. This place should be full of liquid. <clears throat> lingering around too long let's keep going there's only so much time I got 
Okay, they're both going forward, so... Nope. Only one's going forward. Look at that dude. He's buried in here alive. He was reaching out, trying to reach for something. See, this, this is my fate if I remain here. But it's in my head. Or it's in Sherlock's head. So let's keep going. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Something new. Oh, space to skip. Can I not go into first person? Oh, I have to go this way. All right. Darn it. Here we go. Let's run. Cow, it's like Okay, I gotta go quickly. I gotta go quickly. Okay. Does it it didn't look like I can jump? I got hung up on geometry right here. So I gotta do it quickly. Oh, oh darn it. Alright, just run, just run. Sherlock, why'd you stop? Run. I gotta go right, go right. Go left. Oh. Okay, now I'm expecting mine carts or something. Mine carts. Where's the mine carts? Oh no, here it is. The doom of the Guatemalan expeditions, right here. Can we go? Nope, can't go that way. What am I expecting up here? Alright, let's find out. Let's find out. Might as well. Oh no! Do I have a sandbag? Do I have a sandbag that I can... The treasure of Takunuma. The treasure of Takunuma. All right. Oh no. What is this? Okay, let me get out of that mode. The calendar, it was here. So Zacharias, Sir Charles, and Marley have all known about this from the beginning. So they knew. Oh no, look at that. That's death waiting right there, folks. Oh, we gotta figure something out here. So there's symbols on the wall. And there's a handle in the middle of the room. Are there any symbols over here I need to look at? No keyhole or handle. There must be a way in. There must be a way in. Alright, so... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just now noticed. Look, look. Dots. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, I know those those three. And then the other ones with the line underneath it also have sequential sets. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. And then there's the last one, which is equal. Oh, there's one by itself here. Oh, man. All right, so we kind of have an idea. Let's do this. This is the statuette that Bernard Marley, Sir Charles, and Zacharias all shared. All right. Okay, they all have they're all active now. So let's um let's start with this one. Won't know until we try. All right. So 
let's go to two. And let's go to three. <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea what I'm doing, man. There's four. Where's four? Right over here. Okay. I don't know when I should use the equal or the minus. So why don't we... Uh, gosh darn it. There's no... This is kind of like hit and miss, right? I don't want to have to hit and miss. Is there anything... Any symbols that tells me where I should need to go? Okay, why don't we do the minus? Okay, those dots minus the lines, right? Oh, minus those lines. So let's go to the lines. I think that's the equation. Minus lines equals the gate. Okay, so let's do this. Hopefully this is it. Oh, I think I got it. Okay, so two dots with a line. Where's the two dots with a line? Oh my gosh. All right, three dots with a line. And four dots with a line. Where's the four dots with a line? And then the only one left is equal. Equals the gate. Come on, come on. Yes. He's imagining it's the four explorers coming into the the temple. So maybe this is where albeit stuck his hand in and it's where he lost his arm. Yes, I just got the Phantasmagorical Journey ex... Uh... Sir Charles, Zacharias, and Bernard Marley abandoned albeit. This is their secret from the temple. Alright, so we have completed that. So let's take a look. So they... Those three guys abandoned Marley. They stole the, the gold statue which we saw only a portion of it because they cut it all up. So here is uh, Grace Stokes' piece of the gold. Oh, look at that, a gong. Um, Charles has one and, and what's his name has one? Marley has one. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, deduction screen. See what we got. Let me take a look at the clues. Marley. Albeit was left behind. What is that associated with? About his illness. Albeit blames the expedition members for his fate. He seeks revenge and might adopt the curse to his ends. No revenge. Albeit believes that he was punished by the curse. He does not seek revenge. On anyone. Hmm. Let's take a look at this one. Is it bitterness, really? It might be. If we'd go this route, I mean, you know, you know, I don't know. I. It seems like. It seems Charles is more suspicious. But I could be wrong. So let, let's let's. Oh my gosh, let's, let's say no revenge. Yeah, that's all red. So let's take a look at the space. Facts about the crime. Superstition? Nope. Marley's work? 
Oh man, there's a lot on here. There's a lot of dead ends. The club statue of a Takun Uman was an automaton. Yes. It's not possible to build an, autom an automaton with such a precise moving mechanism. This statement here goes against what we've seen. The machine that he, that Sherlock built, I mean finished using the gears, was pretty precise. So let's just say the club statue of Takunaman was an automaton. But it's all, it's all red marks. So there was a decision here I made that did not fit. So let's take a look. The Mayan calendar believes in the curse and Takunaman wishes to use him for his purpose. Cursed will be anyone who disturbs the sacred temple. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay, Marley truly believes that he is the chosen one to do the curse's bidding. Bernard Marley is afraid of the curse and is trying to defend himself from it. He cannot be the chosen one. He is because he's the one that's building it all, right? You think? I don't know. I think this might be it. Bernard Marley. Okay, so somewhere along the way here, it is not running away. So Charles didn't see the running statue. Okay, so we'll leave it at that. Something here. A small child would not have sufficient strength or cunning to be a murderer. The suspect is small. Albert is lying about his son. His son is innocent. Okay. That's blue. Let's take a look at this one. Sir Charles is aware of the curse. He had the perfect opportunity. Unaware. So Charles is unaware of the existence of the curse. Opportunity doesn't make him a murderer. Okay, we'll have to try that. Okay. These two combine. What does this do? Sir Charles saw Bernard Marley's automaton running away on the morning of the murder. But that doesn't give us what we need. The club debts. Sir Charles desired... Greystoke's death in order to obtain and sell off his collection. Sir Charles could sell any other collection contained in the club. Yeah, he could. What does that give us? Ooh. Bernard Marley is guilty. Uh-oh. Am I right, though? Because technically he could. He could sell off anything. Hmm. Arrest Bernard Marley. He did not hesitate to kill due to his suspicious belief. Bernard Marley is insane and requires treatment. It would be better to send him to the sanitarium. Yes. He is a murderer, but I don't think he's in his right mind. Well, we can continue and play around with the this, all of this. Or we can try it. Conclusion. Okay, let's hold on. Let's get out. I want to. Uh, I, I don't want to absolve him, but I think he's not in his right mind. So we'll do that. Let's we'll see what happens here. Confirm your moral choice. Yes. What's happened? Did someone else die? Did Tekunuman strike again? Takun Uman has been avenged, Mr. Marley. It's over now. The fear is over. You have only to follow us. Follow you? But why? Don't worry. You're not responsible. There are specialists who will take care of you. They will help you. No! I'm not crazy! No! It's you who's the lunatic! Absolve Marley. Clues found. 19. Check conclusion. Can I check? Absolve Marley. I got all the clues, but Marley's not it. Oh, I'm over. Uh-oh, I'm over. Okay, I got to replay the fine. Replay the ending. Yes. All right, so let's try it again here. B. Okay, so Bernard, the chosen one. Okay, let's change this. There's 
a bunch here. The courage to come out is real and aim towards the expedition member. No, that's not real. Let's leave it at that. Suspect is small. Albeit is lying about his son. Hmm. Bitterness. Albeit blames the members. Yes, let's do that. So Charles is aware of the curse. He has opportunities. Nope. No automaton. No possible to build an automaton with such precise moving mechanisms. Running statue. False statement. So Charles didn't see a running statue. He is either lying or running figure was somebody else. Look at that. Let's see where this takes us. The person who killed Zacharias had sufficient physical strength to m make a powerful and accurate throw. Hmm. What is this? So Charles had time to prepare the opportunity to build. Okay. Nope. Bitterness. No revenge. Let's turn that off. Small statue. No, let's turn that off. The sun is innocent. Fear. Bernard Marley is. He believes. Nope. Yes, let's do that because he fears the. Okay, so let's take a look at other, other collections. Sir Charles desires Grace of Death to obtain the money. Test. Ooh, look at that. Sir Charles is guilty. Okay, so all these are like, what do they call them? Red herrings? Just wasted my time trying to look at this. Same with this one. Okay, let's, let's do Sir Charles because I think he was my first choice. Sir Charles killed for money and power to obtain Zacharias' antique collection. He must go to prison. Yes. 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 Sir Charles, I believe that it's time to pass on the leadership of your club to someone else. I don't understand. You were charged with the murder of Zacharias Greystoke. You murdered him for money and to further your career. What? what? This is an outrage. I have powerful connections. You will regret this. All right, let's check the conclusion. Oh my goodness, Sir Charles is not it. Sir Charles is not it. This is not green, right? I gotta play it again. Okay, so our solutions are not working. So I already hit Bernard Marley twice. This will be the second time. So I don't think He's got fear, so it's not him. No automaton. So Charles didn't see a running figure. Strength. Zacharias. The person who killed Zacharias had strength. Yeah, he could sell any of them. Albeit lies. I think, I think albeit. I only have a, Charles is not it. Maybe his son. God, I don't know. Revenge? That's unaware. The son is innocent. Small suspect. Strength, okay, so. 
Bitterness, yes. Maybe that's what it did. Oh! Albeit is guilty. Okay, we finally got to this. Ah, oh, took me forever. So, is his son involved? Is that it? Or did he bring over a Guatemalan Indian to help him? Albeit used an adult small stat of small stature as the killer as he wishes people to believe that the curse killed Zacharias Greystoke and at a later date, the other members of the expedition, albeit killed for revenge with an accomplice of short stature, they should both go to prison. Yeah, see, this is wrong here because albeit will die soon. He is no longer able to kill anyone else. His short accomplice was used as a live weapon. They should also be allowed. They should be allowed to remain free. No, he. I mean, there's this. He used somebody to murder another person, so I think he needs to be condemned. But this guy's really messed up. So other people left him for dead, but he came back here and and he's killing them all. It's like a movie. Confirm your moral choice, yes. Let's see if this works. If it doesn't, we'll have to go back and do it again. Mr. Albeard. Oh, you're here with your son. Yes, obviously. We have to talk with you, and it involves the police. I see. Gulliver, go across the road to Mrs. James. This is an adult conversation. Hold on just one second, please. Whoa. Uh, a pygmy? As I suspected. Albeit brought him back from Brazil. You were both slaves there and you escaped together, am I correct? You are. We are companions through life to death. He's more like a brother to me. It's clear enough now. You and your accomplice are guilty to the murder of Zacharias Greystoke. They had to pay for what they did. If only I'd had the time to get all of them. But Gulliver only did what I told him. It's for the judge to decide that. But given the nature of judges, I doubt that he will be lenient towards a pygmy who kills an Englishman. Mm. Okay, let's see if this works. Check the conclusions. Yes. Boy, that was a rough one. Took me a couple shots just to get it right. Warning, you are about to finish the case. Okay, hold on. No, no, let's take a look. Albert despised his fellow expedition members for abandoning him. The murder was carried out by his accomplice and covered up as being the fate of the curse. They should, they should both be imprisoned or be executed or whatever. Whatever there was. Except decision. Yes. Yes. Got the achievement. The Golem Awakened. Finished a study in green case. Mr. Orson Wilde is here, and I'm going to stay with Miss Alice. What? Did you forget? Orson Wilde, you know, the star of American theater. And he's visiting and staying with us. You did forget? No, no, not, not that. I, I meant you wanting to stay with Miss Alice. Yes, that's right. Miss Alice suggested it. She told me you couldn't possibly refuse. Refuse with a pretext. Pretext. Take offense. Propose another solution. Reluctantly accept. Let's propose another solution. Why don't you stay with Mrs. Hudson? Oh, but Miss Caitlin has more in common with Miss Alice, and they get along so well. Guess what, Mrs. Hudson? Mr. Wilde is here to study my father's character for his next play. And he won't be disappointed, will he? Father is so pig-headed. I can't believe it! The great Sherlock Holmes standing in front of me! I'm sure that our two brains will... Brains. Oh. Do I have to do this? Oh man, I'm totally over my time limit. Can I escape? Oh, nope. 
Nope, I gotta do this. Let's do it. Oh, some scarf. Follows fashion trends. He's an American. Broach the flag. American pride wants to attract attention. Hmm. Wants to attract attention because he's an actor. Stains here. What is that? Tobacco Holmes prefers brand. Okay. Anything else here? Orson Wilde. Inscription. Personali personalized boots. Fancy watch. Self affected actor's tool. Let's say actor's tool. Validate. Ah. Orson Wilde, not yet 30 years of age, is a star of the American theater who came to London to study the role of Sherlock Holmes. It is probably that he began his study previously. He smokes the same brand of tobacco as Holmes. Orson is narcissistic and follows fashion. He possesses the tool of any serious actor, a pocket mirror. He wears a brooch with an American flag to attract attention. All right, so we got... Mr. Wilde, your room. Charming. <laughs> this is such a fascinating city. We need to talk. I'd rather not. You're going to be angry again. Goodbye, Mr. Wilde. Is it five o'clock already? I think I might go and ask Mrs. Hudson for some tea. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a... What a loon bag. <laughs> and his daughter. Oh, she's being manipulated by that other crazy lady. All right. So, um, before I do anything, I'm going to, um, you know, I'm going to pet the dog. Oh. Oh, come on, Toby. Your soap bath couldn't have been as bad as that. But before we do anything else, we're going to leave it right there, folks. Appreciate you joining me. I am literally over my time. I wanted to keep it a half an hour, but I could not. So... There you go. You got almost a full hour Sherlock Holmes episode. We completed the case in green study, uh, a study in green case, and now we are moving on to the next one, which is, uh, gosh, what is it called? Infamy? Infamy. Um, an American star. The stage visits Sherlock Holmes in order to study his new role when a curious incident in the nighttime throws a pair into a case what will this unusual duo discover? All right, so we're going to leave it there, folks. Again, appreciate you joining me. If you like this kind of goofy content, make sure you click on subscribe and click on that bell to get notified when I upload new content. And I hope to see you folks back here when we tackle infamy. Until then, have a good one. <laughs>